What's up guys? So today I'm doing a basic tutorial that some people have suggested. It's really simple, but it's important for 1.13 if you want to really do anything complicated with commands. So we're just going to go over how to create function files in 1.13 since they did change it using data packs. So first you want to go to your .minecraft folder, which is right here. I'm already there. You can type percent app data percents or you can uh, somehow get there some other way. Um, I mean, this you should already know how to get here if you've worked with commands and resource packs before. Anyways, with <laughs> besides the fact. So you go into the saves folder and you find the world that you want to add the function to, just like normal. This time there is a special folder for them called data packs. So you go into that and you have to create a new data pack. So let me delete this. Uh, well, I'm going to just keep it there just in case. So I'm going to have a new data pack. So we're going to create a new folder call it data pack, okay? In the folder, you're going to need these two following items, okay? You're going to need a MC meta file and a data file. I have a download description, uh, download link in the description to the MC meta file, so you can grab that. And uh, because it's a little bit, uh, a little bit long, but anyway, so you go into your data pack, you create or download the MC meta file. If you wanna create one, you have to do this create a text document uh, right here and you have to call it pack and then you have to when you save it you need this line of code which is kind of like a resource pack except it says pack and um, so you go into here and it's going to take a while to open all right so you save this into your file and then you click save as pack.mc meta all files I probably already have an MC meta extension save it close that and now you have a pack.mc meta file you will, I also have the text that I just copied and pasted in the description uh, it's pretty simple text it's really short but if you need to copy it you can so the last few steps is you need a folder for the data pack called data it's always the same data then inside that folder, you need a folder for the name of your data because you can have multiple sets of data in each data pack and you can turn those sets on and off, which is kind of cool. Um, but I like to keep it simple and name it the same as the data pack's name. So data pack for this uh, set of data. Inside it now, you can add all these new things. You can add function. Uh, I think it's functions. And this is what the main purpose of the video is to do. It's to be able to make functions. So once you have this, you can do what we set out to do. So as you see here, functions, yes. So you can create functions in your data pack. You can create um, custom crafting recipes. You can create um, custom achievements, all that good stuff. Um, once you're in here, you can just do the same stuff that you normally do to create a function. You can create a new folder or you can just create a text, uh, text document, document, call it test, uh, say hi, save it as test. I probably have it already. No, I don't. All right. Test dot MC function. Or you can set it up so that it automatically saves it as one but uh, I'm a bit lazy. Anyway, so now you have your function file, which is the test. So once you go back into the world, you can type slash reload, you can slash slash function, and then data pack colon test is going to be where your function is. Your fun the first part is the name of the data pack you're using. I have another one called test, and then the rest is just the file directory to get to the file. And as you can say, see, it just says hi. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's really simple. That's how you make a function in 1.13. Um, other than that, if you have anything else, if this was useful, go ahead and leave a like, let me know what else you want to see. And other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.